Hi, this is Paul Gabriel with another episode of Ask ZBrush. Okay, for this video, the question that was sent to us, is there a way to make Sculptures Pro Tessimation not linked to your brush size? And the answer is yes, of course there is. This is really easy to do, but what I also want to cover is how you can have Sculptures Pro be on all your sculpting brushes, or you can even pick and choose what brushes have Sculptures Pro on and off. Okay, so what I'm gonna do so that we can visually see, I have this gorilla that I sculpted with Sculptures Pro. So I'm gonna open up my subtools and I'm gonna hold down the shift key and click on the brush so everything just turns off all the paint and all the material that is assigned to this gorilla so that we can see the tessellation that's on the particular model. In this case, you can see where it's more dense, those are smaller triangles, and where it's less dense, those are bigger triangles. So if we just start sculpting across here, you can see we get tessellation happening. If we go with a larger brush size, that tessellation is different. It's got larger triangles than with a smaller draw size. So what this particular user is asking is, instead of having this be controlled by the brush size, can I actually turn this off? So all you need to do is come to the stroke palette and open up Sculptures Pro. This is where you actually can turn Sculptures Pro on or off, which you can also do that right here within the UI. So once it's on, there are two buttons and two sliders. This slider is your tessimation slider, in essence, how big of triangles do you want? This slider is actually a decimating slider because Sculptures Pro actually tessellates and decimates at the same time. So what we're gonna wanna do is turn this button adaptive size off. This will now make it no longer the tessellation size of the triangles are determined by the draw size. So what's going to determine that now is this slider. So the smaller you put that slider, the smaller the triangles, the bigger you put this slider, the larger the triangles. And this is all you have to do to make the draw size not control your tessellation when using Sculptures Pro. Now, there are times where you might wanna have Sculptures Pro on for all your sculpting brushes or not on for certain brushes. So in this case, again, whatever brush I switch to, a sculpting brush, we're gonna have tessellation happening. Now let's say I don't want it with the standard brush, but I do want it with that Damien standard brush. All I need to do now is come to the brush palette because I want to affect a particular brush. So in here, there's also a Sculptures Pro menu. So it's going to have the same two buttons in the stroke palette and the same two sliders. But what also we have here is an enable and use global. So you can actually tell this brush not to use Sculptures Pro. So you can see now when we sculpt with the standard brush, there's no tessellation happening. But when I switch back to the Damien standard, there's tessellation happening. And you can see it is now on for Damien standard. And we switch back to the standard brush it is now grayed out because it's off. The other thing I'd like to note about these settings is there's also a use global. So the stroke palette is actually the global settings for all sculpting brushes that are using Sculptures Pro. So not only can you turn it on and off for certain brushes, but you can also have different settings for each brush. So the Use Global is always gonna look at the stroke palette, but if you turn this off, now I can actually customize settings just only for the standard brush for Sculptures Pro. So there you have it, a bunch of other little fun things for you to know about Sculptures Pro, but this is how you would turn off the ability to have the draw size controlling your tessellation when using Sculptures Pro. So thank you for watching this video. Please continue to send your questions into Twitter with hashtag AskZBrush. Again, please send in whatever question you might have through Twitter with the hashtag AskZBrush. Thank you so much again for watching this video. Have a great day and happy ZBrushing.